Well, fist me slow, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Monday Night Walker. It is the walk Monday Night Walker episode after the Royal Rumble. And my God, what a show that was. We are on the road to Walker Mania. And we have uh, our Women's Royal Rumble winner, Bailey, who won from the number one position. And Brock Lesnar, our three-time Royal Rumble winner, going to face the, face the WWE Champion at the Rumble. We're going to have some Elimination Chamber qualifiers tonight. The IC title will be on the line, and the Women's Championship will be on the line inside the Elimination Chamber. We're going to have some qualifying matches tonight, a hardcore championship match. And in our main event, The Rock, Roman Reigns, and Walter to determine the next contender for the WWE Championship. Big night. But let's get to our Intercontinental Championship qualifying match. Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lash, let's do it. So this is actually somebody that has been working hard to get an opportunity, but I, we had an opportunity a couple of nights ago. It wasn't, uh, it didn't work for him. Drew McIntyre faced Isaiah Swerve Scott. Wasn't able to get any Claymores off. Tried to go for a Future Shock DDT, it was reversed. Drew McIntyre was not able to get the job done, but now has one more chance, one more opportunity to qualify for the Intercontinental Championship Elimination Chamber matchup. Now, I have an announcement to make about these Elimination Chambers because we're going to have one for the Intercontinental Championship, one for the Women's Championship. Obviously, Sasha Banks is going to enter the Women's cha Chamber as the champion. Isaiah Swerve Scott will enter the Chamber as the Intercontinental Champion. Io Shirai and Edge, I am already putting in to their respective Rumbles. The reason for this is because Edge defeated Isaiah Swerve Scott a couple of weeks ago, or maybe it was last week, while he or two no two weeks ago, while you know Swerve is holding the Intercontinental Championship. Edge beat the champion. That also goes for Io Shirai, who pinned Sasha Banks clean, somewhat. So. Those two are already going to qualify. We, so we have Sasha Banks and Io Shirai, and then we have Swerve and Edge. We're going to have four qualifying matches for each gender to uh, go into this Intercontinental Championship and Women's Championship Chamber. We're also going to have some qualifiers next week to determine the next number one contender for the Tag Team Championship. We're going to have, you know, obviously hardcore championships on the show. Tonight, we're going to determine who's going to face Finn Balor for the WWE title. Man, oh man, I am excited for that one. Lash has got to be fuming after that Royal Rumble performance. He was in there for a little while. Didn't get uh, much going for himself. No major eliminations. Who was he eliminated by? I don't know. Should I look it up? Let's look it up. Who was Bobby Lash eliminated by? Let's see if it's somebody really embarrassing because that would be hilarious. Here we go. <laughs> Bobby Lashley was eliminated by... Hold on... Bear with me, folks. This honestly doesn't matter that much, but I'm gonna gonna keep looking anyway, because why not? I'm petty. Bobby Lashley was eliminated by. Oh God, I still don't. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for the freaking. I'm sure you guys already know by now if you guys watch the freaking Rumble, but I I don't remember so. Um. Well, here we go. <laughs> I'm looking it up right now. Uh, Drew and Bobby going at it. Bobby Lashley with a form right to the face of Drew McIntyre. I'm still looking this up. Lashley with Drew McIntyre up in a suplex position. I mean, McIntyre's got to be hurt. Bobby Lashley didn't go through a whole war like Drew McIntyre did. You know, it's, there's got to be some freaking battle scars being shown on the end of Drew McIntyre. McIntyre picking up Bobby Lashley into a powerbomb position. I mean, this is huge for Drew McIntyre. He fumbled the opportunity that he had to get the freaking Intercontinental Champion. Was it Logan Paul? It better not have been Logan Paul. I'm still looking at the freaking footage. And I, <laughs> I think it was Riddle. No, it was Randy Orton. It was okay. Randy Orton eliminated him. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I spent so much time looking at that. Bobby Lexi picking up Drew McIntyre. 
This is all to to fight for the title inside. The, I mean, mind you, if you do qualify for this, you then have to go through five other guys in a really intense stipulate. Oh man, Magatar with a pretty aggressive boot right to the face of Lashley. Neckbreaker takes Lashley down. You know, Drew is chomping at the bit to get another shot at Isaiah. We got a big card. There's six matches on tonight's card. That's crazy. Six. We had seven yeah, on at the Rumble. Drew McIntyre trying to do some more damage to Lashley, but he sweeps the leg. Lashley trying to work on that arm. I don't know why. I don't know why there's a lot of arm um, focus when you don't really have an arm, you know, offensive maneuver. That is, you know, intended to put somebody away. I, I don't know. I mean, who can freaking forget last uh, or two nights ago? The WWE champion at the time, Stone Cold Steve Austin, submitting to Finn Balor. I never thought I'd see the day, but I mean, he's he got put through so much, you know? Austin's going to take some time off, unfortunately. Uh, how can you blame him for, for that happening? But, but yeah, Austin... Uh, we'll see him soon. Drew McIntyre picking up Bobby Lashley. Oh, here we go. Can he actually get this? Future Shock DDT. He does. That's going to be a... No. Cover, though. On Lashley. And a kick out. Drew McIntyre is hurt, man. He's competed pretty much every week for the last two months. Here we go. Going for a Claymore. Claymore. Oh, I thought he was going to miss. But he got it. Cover on Bobby Lashley. And no one a kick out. I had to pause it. I apologize. Here we go. Bobby Lashley. Wait, I didn't even realize this was happening. Oh, go for a Dominator and Drew McIntyre getting out of it. Bobby Lashley freaking withstood the Claymore earlier. But man, McIntyre's on a different level as of right now, man. He is hungry. He wants that Intercontinental Championship more than I wanted your mother back in 2005. Here we go. Mac. Oh my God. McIntyre missed another move, which is crazy to say, by the way. Dropping Lashley down, but Lashley gets back up. He's got to do more than he's done, man. This match has been mostly Drew McIntyre. Case closed. You see it once again. No. Lashley turns it around. Woof. Man, these guys are killing each other. Drew's got to end this at some point. I feel like. He's got Lashley right where he wants him. Drew McIntyre just wants this more than Lashley. It, it, it's, it's, it's evident. He's more hungry. The cover on Big Bob. Here we go. Oh, my God. Another kick out from Lashley. Wow. Can he get this? Swerve was reversing it yesterday, and Lashley is going to do the exact same. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good for Drew. That is not good for Drew. Lashley taking advantage. Got McIntyre up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Make sure there's no rope break in sight. Cover on McIntyre and a kick out. Despite going to war with Swerve yesterday, withstands the pain. Even after the Gator roll as well. Look at the bruising on, Bru on Drew McIntyre's face. Oh, man. This is getting disrespectful at this point. Lashley needs a big comeback. Drew, I mean, the only thing that Lashley has going for him is the fact that McIntyre went through hell last night. No way. No way. Lashley's got him up. Can he get him this time? He does. That, ladies and gentlemen, might be the end of this match. McIntyre's hurt. You see the limp body of Drew into the cover. Oh, wow. This man's a warrior, dude. He's an absolute warrior. Lashley going for something else. What? Did he have another one in him? That's ridiculous. 
Falcon Arrow from McIntyre. What's the game plan? Oh, here we go. Can Bobby withstand Drew McIntyre's bread and both the Claymore into the cover? No! <laughs> two Claymores wasn't enough? The man took two Claymores. Wow. The man took two Claymores. I don't know. No, another Future Shock DDT reversed from Lashley. Drew, you got to stop going for that. You got to stop going for it. Lashley's going to take advantage. I can't believe Lashley kicked out. Is that going to be enough? Look at the dead weight of McIntyre. Oh. Oh, wow. Again and again. No chance. Man, Drew is getting beat up out here. Oh. That's not enough? That's not enough for you? No way. I think Lashley was going for the hurt lock. He was going for the hurt lock. No way a headbutt took him out. No way. And a kick out. What a match I'm looking at right here, folks. Lashley was going for the hurt lock. Thought that the, the signature wasn't going to be enough. To put Lashley away. Man. Or sorry. To put Drew away. <laughs> How about number three? That is all she wrote. Drew McIntyre is amazing. He's amazing. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This man is incredible. What a warrior, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now know that Drew McIntyre will be added to the Elimination Chamber match. We still have more. We still have more qualifying matches. We got one more qualifying match tonight. We got one more. We got AJ Styles and Austin Theory. But up next, we're going to find out who's going to meet uh, Sasha Banks and Io Shirai in the Women's Elimination Chamber. We're going to have, I believe it is Rhea Ripley versus Alexa Bliss? Or is that later tonight? I don't know my own card. That's not good. We got a Women's Qualifier up next. I'm an idiot. It was Naomi versus Mia Yim. All right. So is how much I know, I guess. All right. Well, the returning Naomi. She's here. Man, I, it was it was a shame seeing her get eliminated in that Women's World Rumble match. Was she the first one out? I don't remember. But there wasn't an elimination for a while. Yeah, Naomi got out. I believe it was first. I could be wrong about that. But making a return nonetheless. Now, winning the Royal Rumble, not winning the Royal Rumble, it's, it's, it's fine. Bailey won from number one, which is incredible. Never thought I'd see the day where we'd see somebody win the Women's Royal Rumble from, or any Royal Rumble from number one. Bailey proving to everyone. How dominant she really is. You, you don't need to fight the men to do it. You can just fight how you're supposed to be fighting. Or how you've been fighting. You don't need to do what she did for all those months. Barely going to Walker Mania 5. Naomi trying to do the same. But to do that, she... <laughs> Listen, all Bailey, all Naomi had to do was win a Royal Rumble. But when she couldn't do that, she's she got to do this. These women got to go through these qualifying matches to get into the Elimination Chamber. But then, also got to go through five other women inside that chamber. So then maybe, I don't know if there's even going to be another championship change or match between then. This is um this is a weird matchup because I don't know why Mia Yim is even getting a qualifying match. I don't think she deserves it. That was the most piss poor thing I've ever seen. But I get it. The nerves are getting to you. The nerves are getting to you. Uh, Sasha Banks came out of the gate with fire dude she got out of, she she was busting all over the place Mia Yim didn't get hit with much and she got uh put down for a count of 10 so I don't know Mia Yim is gonna have to do something that she hasn't done before and that's win a match in order to qualify for the women's elimination chamber we're gonna see what she's gotta go what she's got against the newly returning Naomi we know how hungry Naomi probably is to get a championship opportunity 
Medium is a lot to prove in order to get back in our good graces. Uh, speaking of losing horrifically, I have fired John Cena. We announced this at the Royal Rumble yesterday. John Cena, uh, to the surprise of uh, probably nobody, was the first one eliminated in the men's Royal Rumble match because of course he was, and I'm done. So we will no longer be seeing John Cena in World Walk Entertainment. Um, yeah. And that's just how the cookie crumbles. Naomi up on the top rope. That is the last time I will ever bring it up, by the way. Uh, yeah. Naomi doing exactly what Sasha Banks did last or two nights ago. That's completely obliterate Mia Yim. On the top rope again. Oh, Mia. Oh, Mia. And I kick it at one. I mean... <laughs> What does it like mean though if we're just gonna do this and then just lose? You know what I mean? I mean me, you gotta do something. It's called offense. And we've given me a chance after chance. She became number one contender by winning a battle royal, but maybe it was a fluke. Maybe I'm giving Miriam too much credit. Because since then, she's she's lost every match. And I'm trying to trying to be lenient. I'm trying to give her an opportunity, and she's not taking advantage excuse me excuse me hold where i'm sorry where the hell did that come from me and him with a desperate attempt to win this match quickly here the only move that she's hit in this match besides a reversal to a suplex almost put naomi away for a three hold on no way wait a second Mia Yim, protect your neck. No, no way. Oh, that is not a rope break, ref. Mia Yim got screwed just now. But Yim, last night must have opened up a fire in her. Look at Mia Yim go. Oh, my God. Naomi quickly shaking off what Mia Yim was doing just now. But Naomi up on the top rope eating some slaps from Mia Yim but can't escape the Meteora from Naomi. Naomi with a rear feed. <laughs> Coming out of seemingly nowhere. Oh no. Uh oh, cover. Naomi on Mia Yim. And a kick out. Man, what is going on tonight? <laughs> What's going on? Naomi picking up Mia Yim. We got to go for something else. We got to go for something bigger. Mia Yim refusing to get put away here. No Sasha Banks to distract her or nothing. No way. Split-legged moonsault coming. Naomi, she gets it. Oh, the knees right on the ribs as well. We're not done? That's not enough? Another rear view? Oh, Mia, no. No, Mia. Oh, we... I, oh, she had such a good flurry for a while. Oh. Oh, my God. Mia Yim kicked out. <laughs> I just want to see a good showing. That's all I want. It's just, she's not. Oh, no. All right. I mean, maybe it's my fault that I'm give, that I'm giving her all this credit. Mia Yim had a crazy uh, finisher attempt earlier. Naomi back on the top rope. She's comfortable up there. Mia Yim getting up to her feet, though. Elbow drop right to the spine. Of Mia Yim eat, eating two rear views, a split legged moonsault. She's still in this match. It's pretty impressive. Last, uh, sorry, Saturday, that women's championship match was probably the most embarrassing match I've seen anyone have in the history of World Walk Entertainment. And I think because of that, Mia Yim has stepped up her game. She, the nerves are gone. She knows what it's like to crash and burn pretty horrifically as well. Oh, wow. Pretty horrifically did she crash and burn. So now Mia Yim has absolutely nothing to lose. But everything to gain as she tries to go for a submission hold on Naomi. I think she is. What is this going to be? Never mind. Out of nowhere, protect your neck a second time. And Mia Yim has just won this match. Okay. Wow. So the elimination chamber is already stacking up, folks. We got Sasha Banks 
the women's champion, Io Shirai, and Mia Yim. She finally did it. She fin Look how happy she is. She finally won. I can't believe it. Mia Yim with an actual victory. She pulled it out. That good for her. Honestly, good for her. After what happened at the Rumble, I was a little nervous, but we she did it. We got a hardcore championship matchup next. Who's gonna take on Crew Dallas again? Why the hell would you want to? But we're gonna find out up next. It's a nice little breather before we get to more qualifying match. Who's gonna answer the challenge for the hardcore championship? It no 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 please. No, please, 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 please. I can't. I can't take much more. I can't take much more. We can't. This, I mean, we've got to be trolling at this point. We've got to be trolling. Because there is absolutely no way that we're going to sit here and think that Logan Paul has a chance in hell of beating Crew Dallas. we got a Billy K sign in the background. Get, get me a freaking break. Uh, <laughs> Logan Paul entered the Royal Rumble two nights ago. And uh, oh, he was in the final nine. But he eliminated Wesley, and I was begging somebody to eliminate him. Sami Zayn finally did. But how the? I mean, there's no way Logan Paul's about to win this match. The overconfidence of this guy is ridiculous. Because, ladies and gentlemen, still the hardcore champion after the Royal Rumble, where he freaking killed Omos. He killed Johnny Gargano, and he killed Omos. He's going to kill Logan Paul, and honestly, this is the first match where I'm rooting for our hardcore champion. And introducing the champion from he doesn't even have a Twitter handle. I have never been more creeped out, intimidated by a champion uh, ever in this in this company. We had the Boogeyman, who also was in the Royal Rumble a, a little while. Boogeyman is a former hardcore champion, and uh, to not to my delight, but I don't think I was necessarily scared of the Boogeyman. The Undertaker was also hardcore champion. Again, he's been around for enough time where I'm used to it. I will never get used to this. There will not be a single day where I am used to the sight of Crudelis, the demon from the pit of hell, holding the hardcore championship. It's, it's, it's never going to happen. This is going to be either the funniest match of all time or the the match that finally breaks my spirit one of those things will happen my spirit could definitely absolutely get broken in the next few minutes I, here we go here we go Yep. Crudell is holding on to that championship. He, he, it seems like I mean, like the, he he's got a crown on his head. So I, is he the king of hell? I don't know. But if he is, this is definitely uh some part of the part of his gold attire that makes him feel like a king. I mean, it fit. It fits. The title fits the champion. <laughs> I can't say the same about Logan Paul. <laughs> Here we go. Bell has rung. No, no, <laughs> no. I, I, okay. Crudellis gets Logan Paul off. I, I don't think I've ever rooted for Crudellis in the two matches that he previously had here in Woodwalker Table. Well, I'm rooting for him now. I'm, I'm very much uh, a Crudellis fan. I'm a Crudellis mark. I'm a Crudellis stan. And. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't even want to say words. I don't even want to talk anymore. I'm, I'm over it. Crudell's going to show Logan Paul why he is the hardcore champion. The overconfidence of Logan Paul is weird to me because he fought The Rock for the title and didn't win. Like, at all. Oh, my God. He didn't win. So, the oh, Logan Paul got rocked. Went for a, look at how quick Crudell, he's a 480 pound man and the guy went for a springboard clothesline I, I mean you can't make this up oh well there you go Logan you signed up for this you, you, you signed the contract that's this is on he kicked out at one uh this is on you Logan it is I mean it just is I don't feel bad why would I feel bad hell no Crudell's with a kick right to the hamstring and going to the top rope. Yeah, uh, I don't want Logan Paul to, like, die, but, I mean... Okay! That might have killed him! I mean... Logan, again, man, everyone escapes that submission hold. I'm going to be very fearful for when the guy that actually does get hit with that submission hold gets put in it. Because, oh, man, Crudellis... Uh, oh, no way. Logan Paul with these... Je he actually grappled him. The jabs and Logan Paul with a DDT to the hardcore champion. We have not seen Crudellis in trouble yet. Um, I don't know how I'm going to feel if that continues. A baseball bat in the hand of Logan Paul. No, no, I'm sorry. We, I, we can't. We can't. We can't. We can't do this. I can't do this. Logan Paul is getting back in the ring to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Crudellis, who he's legitimately giving a run for his money. Okay, we go to the outside again for some reason. What the hell are you doing, Logan? I don't think Gargano or Omas gave Crudellis as big of a, a, a challenge as he's getting right now i'm a little taken aback and kind of pissed off <laughs> to be quite honest with you logan paul oh i don't know what the hell he was thinking but man i mean outside of the ring is where the hardcore champion thrives i mean it is clear it has never been more clear to me i mean he's taking a little victory lap look at this where's he going what is the plan here Picking up a baseball bat. Logan Paul. Oh, no. Well, you know, I was... No, Crudell, he didn't even go down from the drop kick. You gotta be kidding me. Don't tell me that's something he's gonna go for the cover off of. No. We gotta... The baseball bat is back. But, man, more jabs from Paul. This is unprecedented. I, I don't know how to feel about it. I, I don't feel good about it. <laughs> I don't feel good. Logan Paul... With a DDT to... <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do if Logan Paul wins this match. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I, we can't. We, it can't happen, dude. We can't. It can't happen. Please. <laughs> Please. Crudell is with a baseball bat in his hand. Logan Paul going to go back on the outside to fight him. Steals the baseball bat. I think Crudell's a little taken aback. Why is this the hardest challenge he's faced so far? This doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Back into the ring we go, finally. Crudell's creating some separation. You got, grabs the baseball bat again. I mean, what is what, what are we doing? Logan was waiting for, I think Crudellis wants to have the advantage, but on the outside of the ring, he threw Logan Paul back in, so that way, he could grab the bat, but now Logan Paul, taking Crudellis to score, okay, I think the baseball bat is just a, uh, a freezer, <laughs> it freezes everybody, can we just not pick up the bat, yeah, that's probably the best idea, all right, oh no, that should put Omos away, that is what put Omos away at the Rumble, all right, well, I mean, I guess that's all she wrote. Oh, no.
Logan Paul, uh, he kicked out. He kicked out of Crudelis's big boot finishing maneuver clothesline. Please. Please. Oh, my God. Logan Paul with a forearm, but Crudelis knocks him off. God. No, I, I, I can't. I can't live in this reality. I can't. I can't live in this reality. Logan Paul, stop on the gut of the hardcore champion. How lo much longer can I say he is the hardcore champion for? Please, no, Crudellis. I need you to kick out. I need you to kick out. Cr please, Crudellis. Please kick out. <laughs> Logan Paul has just defeated the at once thought unstoppable demon from the pits of hell. Yeah, I don't, I don't, this, it, we're done, we're, we're going out of business, we're not, we're going out of business, it, it's, it's a wrap, it's been, it was fun while it lasted, it, we're done, uh, but until then, we, I think now is Rhea Ripley versus Alexa Bliss, uh, to be the fourth entrant in the Elimination Chamber, that is up next, oh man, so far we got Sasha Banks, Io Shirai, and Mia Yim, to the surprise of everybody, who is going to be number quattro to enter the Women's Championship Elimination Chamber? It's, we only have, I mean, after this episode, we got two more episodes until the pay-per-view. It's a pretty short uh, span in between uh, shows. And we got a long road to Walker Mania. How many weeks are actually in between um, the Chamber and Mania? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Six episodes. Wow. Actually, not that much if you really think about it. Rhea Ripley, former women's champion, lost the championship to Ronda Rousey. So she's the second most recent women's champion. Rhea was very, very proud of holding that championship. She worked really hard to get it. And I know that she really wants to get it again. Um, I will say, though, the winner of that women's chamber is going to face Bailey. For the women's championship at Walker Mania 5. I mean, that's... Hmm. I don't know, man. Bailey is on... I mean, I can, again, I can't express how insane it is for Bailey to have won the Women's Royal Rumble from the number one position. I mean, it was incredible. Ripley has a history with this woman, Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss, when we relaunched World Walker Entertainment, was the women's champion. She held it for a little while as well. She held it all the way in for, until Walker Mania, beating several people, including this woman right here. I believe it was Fastlane 2021, Rhea Ripley. Alexa Bliss hasn't held the Women's Championship in over two years. No, not over two years. Almost two years. People have kind of forgotten the dominance that Alexa Bliss has. Maybe she'll show it right now. Remember that match she had with the Women's Champion, Sasha Banks, in Sasha Banks' return matchup. Remember, we talked about, oh, well, Sasha Banks is back, Sasha Banks is back. Alexa Bliss also returned on that episode as well, and we didn't even give her the time of the day. Now is the opportunity for Alexa Bliss to prove who the hell she really is. Alexa, hulking up to her feet, slap right to the face, a statement made from the goddess Alexa Bliss. Rarely didn't like that, though. She didn't like that at all. We're going to toss Alexa Bliss all the way across the ring. We got two former women's champions. 
This will be the first time, besides Sasha Banks, that somebody's actually held the Women's Championship will be in the chamber. Io Shirai and Mia Yim yet to hold any championship gold ever in this company. I'm very happy that we got Io Shirai in that match because she did beat Sasha Banks. So I had to include her in there. Same thing goes for Edge. So we got Swerve, Edge, and Drew. That's going to be crazy. And then we have our another qualifier up next, AJ Styles and Austin Theory. You know, Styles can't compete for the WWE Championship for a while. So, why? I mean, he had the, ch the opportunity at the Rumble, but, you know. Alexa, uh-oh! Hold on a second! Man, these women are really trying to put each other away quickly. I mean, I mean, I, I, I like it, though. I like it. Cover on Rhea Ripley and a kick out. It's going to take a lot more, but Alexa Bliss realizes that the longer this match goes on, I feel like the more it, it helps Rhea Ripley. Wait a minute. DDT from Alexa Bliss. That might be it. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm not, like, surprised that Alexa Bliss hit it, but I'm surprised she did it that, that fast. Cover on Ripley, and oh my god. I thought, I honestly thought that was it for a second. But no, this match is going to continue. Rhea is not going to be put away that early. Especially somebody that just held the Women's Championship. Are you kidding me? Bliss has got to keep up the pressure, though. Rhea, Rhea has a lot of work to do. Ah, uh, this is a good start. Rhea Ripley riptied on the goddess. We are just trading big moves here. And yeah, prison trap from Rhea Ripley. I mean, if anyone's going to freaking make somebody tap out, it's Rhea. This is how she won the Women's Championship in the first place. No, it's not true. I think she won it off a of Riptide. But yeah, Shayna Baszler got screwed in that match. I forgot about that. <laughs> Alexa Bliss somehow escapes the prison trap. Even after getting hit with the Riptide. Bliss has got to keep it up. Putting Rhea Ripley in the tree of whoa. When do you see this happen on Monday Night Walker? Oh my god. And I guess we won't see any continuation. What a block from Bliss. And outside the ring goes Rhea. Literally. Wow. Bliss taunting, waving at her. Wow. Disrespectful from Alexa. Trying to get her women's championship opportunity back. You can only win the match in the ring and re realizes that. And going to get back in there. Alexa Bliss, you know, taking her time. Does get in there. Going to get ring guarded, though, by Rhea, who grapples her, picks her up. Oh, man. That no way that's enough to put Alexa Bliss away and a kick out. I mean, Rhea's shocked, but I don't understand how you can be. Alexa dragging Rhea Ripley to the center of the ring. What is she going for? What is she planning on doing? Oh man, Rhea up on her feet. But gets tossed once again by Alexa. Rhea trying to get back up, trying to show that she's not injured at all. She's not hurt. Alexa cover. On Rhea Ripley, is that going to be enough? And a kick out. Alexa can't imagine how Rhea was able to stay in this matchup, but no way again. Rhea Ripley with a riptide cover. Yeah, why not? Go for the cover off of it. And that's it, man. Rhea is she badass, dude. I mean, come on. Alexa Bliss, her time will come. I said the same thing for freaking Dolph Ziggler uh, at the Rumble. I was lying. But Alexa Bliss's time will come. But Rhea just wanted it more. Rhea Ripley wh rip bleh, 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 whipping out the Riptide to become the fourth entrant in the Elimination Chamber. We're going to have some more qualifiers next week. But yeah. Good for, uh, good for Rhea Ripley. No, for real. So we got Sasha Banks, Io Shirai, Mia Yim, and Rhea Ripley next to see who's going to uh, go against Swerve Edge and Drew in the chamber. It is AJ Styles, former WWE champion versus Austin Theory. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, mute. Here we go. AJ Styles, who actually had a pretty decent showing in the Rumble. Had a little friendly competition with Kevin Owens as well. But the CW are fine. Don't worry about that. AJ Styles 
realizes that nobody in the CWO has an opportunity at the WWE Championship between now and Walker Mania. So how about the next best thing? Making his way to the ring, representing the NWO from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles must be so proud of Bailey. And not even just because of, of winning the Royal Rumble, but she has had a pretty great 2022, to be very honest with you. Two-time women's champion, um, hardcore champion. She beat Sasha Banks at Walker. I mean, if Sasha Banks retains, man, we're going to have a rematch at Walker. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, um, you know, beating people like uh, Alexa Bliss, uh, Nia Jax, Sasha Banks. You know, winning the Women's Championship twice, winning the Hardcore title, facing Stone Cold Steve Austin for the WWE Championship, and capping it off with winning the Women's Royal Rumble from the number one position. Bailey is the biggest success story besides AJ Styles that has come out of the CWL. But Austin Theory, who was actually in the final, what, five? Six? In the Royal Rumble match, did pretty well for himself. Austin Theory, former Intercontinental Champion in his own right. Lost the title, I believe, at Extreme Rules. I think. I could be a, a, a ridiculous liar. But, uh... I do... Think. I think so. Who's going to go on to the chamber? I have to pause it, but we're going to find out in a second. Hold on. All right, let's do this. Qualifying match here. Theory right out of the gate. Oh, was trying to get a flurry going on Styles. Couldn't get it. Styles is definitely going to have the experience advantage in this match, being WWE champion for the better part of a year. Um... Very, very, very gifted is AJ Styles. Man, what a splash from the top rope. That took Theory out. A, a springboard moonsault. Everybody goes for these springboard moonsaults. Moonsaults. I don't get it. Dropping the knee, man. Theory is getting taken to school here by AJ Styles. Theory, you got to do something big here. Finally, a reversal there. Sweeps the leg of AJ Styles. And now the assault's got to continue. You got to keep AJ grounded for as long as you were, but it doesn't look like that's about to happen. Styles working on that arm. Up on, oh, no, I know what he's going for here. Oh, God. Burning hammer. Oh. I can't imagine what that must feel like. It, it, it can't, it's, it's the worst. It's got to be the worst move to take in this ring. Theory's getting... Man, Styles is... I've never seen AJ Styles this serious before. Even when he was WWE Champion. I, I don't think I ever saw Styles be as, like, vicious as he is in this matchup. Theory has got nothing. Go, is he bleeding? Is, is he? I thought I saw some color. Maybe not. Oh, yep. Yep, I do see it. Uh, ouch. Theory finally manages to escape the wrath of AJ Styles. I mean, that was quite literally uh, brutal. Styles in a submission hold here. Theory just trying to wear the former WWE Champion down. And honestly, I, I get that. But... Mm. I don't know if that was a really smart idea from Austin Theory. AJ Styles in the top rope. Theory trying to crawl away, but Styles with a spiral tap. Oh, man. A cover on Austin Theory. Former Intercontinental Champion, by the way, as well. Theory just barely gets the shoulder up. Styles knows that he's got Theory right where he wants him. Another springboard moonsault. I mean, this time, you, that's got to be it. That's got to be it on Austin Theory. And another kick out. 
One thing I will say about Austin Theory is that he doesn't quit until he has no choice. But this match has been all AJ Styles. I can't see it going in a different direction. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Theory gets out of the way. Trying his best. Yeah, gets him down. Gets AJ Styles down. And here we go, Theory. Power bomb to AJ Styles. What can he do here? He's had a couple of good kickouts, but that's pretty much it. You got to do more, Theory. Look at this. That's a... Oh, no! Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. The only flurry that Theory had is completely... Oh, no! Phenomenal forearm. Block... Or not block, but reverse by Austin Theory. That was the best thing he could have done. And AJ Styles still all over him. Calf crusher. That's going to be a rope break. Bad ring awareness there from AJ. But yeah, man. Like, it, Theory tries and tries and tries. And it is just not nearly enough. His body must have given out, right? I mean, I can't imagine that Theory has enough in him to kick out. Oh, man. How is my question. I don't understand that at all. AJ Styles is going to look to put this one away. I feel kind of bad for Austin Theory. Another phenomenal forearm reversed. Whoa. No way. Going for a taxi and nobody can get any finisher off on anybody. That is insane. Finisher after finisher reversed from both of these guys. An attack you got reversed. Two phenomenal forearms were reversed. The only other thing was a calf crusher and that. Oh, man. Wait a minute. Theory. Ataxia. He got it. I mean, this is how he's retained the hardcore championship on multiple occasions. And AJ Styles kicks out. Oh. This has turned into a, a, a sudden death match. Yeah, Theory knew it was coming. He blocked it. Can he hoist AJ Styles up? Powerbomb position. He got him. Styles goes crashing down on the canvas. This is the, the comeback that Theory needed. I don't know. AJ Styles is a little farther. I don't know if Theory's... He's not going to make that. No way. Calling for Styles to get up. That might be the better idea, but he's still kind of far. Austin Theory. Yeah, that's not a good idea. I wanted to see him go for it, though. I'm not going to lie. Theory with Styles once again in the powerbomb position. Getting him up. Styles is not looking, uh, have been looking good for the last couple of minutes. You got to wonder if Theory's really put some work on him with the Ataxia. Man, it's sad to see the downfall of AJ. I don't want to say the downfall because Styles has done, you know, somewhat well for himself, especially being the leader of the CWO. He's, he's, he's done well for them. Wait a minute. Shooting star press on AJ Styles. And oh my lord. The hell did he get that one from? AJ Styles is getting a taste of his own medicine here. Fury has given AJ Styles everything that Styles gave to him earlier. I mean, this is great. Fury. Oh man, clothesline. Can he actually get it this time? Oh no, again, Styles. Oh man, that was a low blow. That was like a low blow. Look at this. 450. He missed. Oh my god, he missed. He missed. AJ Styles, oh, he undershot it. He undershot it. He's got to go for it again, but he's, he stopped. He's still far. He just keeps missing. <laughs> I can't believe it. Fury doesn't realize how close he came to being put away here for good. Phenomenal blitz from AJ Styles. How much more can Austin Fury take? Because he's taken a lot. He has taken a whole lot. Styles picking Austin Theory up and ends it Curry. Man, oh man. Neckbreaker gets it. This is all to be entered in that Elimination Chamber matchup. Pele kick. Theory's looking bad right now. I can't lie. Styles got his stride again. Wow. Styles, after missing the two 450s. Just decided, you know, I'm just going to beat the hell out of this guy. That might be enough. No. Oh, wow. At the very last second, Austin Theory gets the shoulder up. And how about a third time? Maybe it's the charm. No. 
there will be no phenomenal forearm hit in this match. However, for the second time, Ataxia. The cover on AJ Styles. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Austin Theory has just beaten AJ Styles and qualified for the Elimination Chamber. I, listen. You know how much he had to reverse in order to do this? The comeback was crazy, by the way, but three phenomenal form attempts, none of them successful. AJ Styles missed two 450 splashes. Fury's special, man. He's really, he's got it. He does. But ladies and gentlemen, up next is a triple threat match to determine the number one contender for Finn Balor's WWE Championship. Three men, I think, deserve an opportunity. One man that lost the WWE Championship because he uh, was taken out. He was injured, pretty badly injured. Another man who had a couple of opportunities, but also was number 30. He was the, what was he, the runner-up? No, he was the third to last man in the Royal Rumble match. And then somebody who was a former WWE Champion, former Hardcore Champion, Grand Slam Champion, including Mr. Money in the Bank, Roman Reigns. So... One of those guys, or Finn Balor, will go on to Walker Mania 5 to take on Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. Or to defend the WWE Championship against him. We're going to find out who's going to face Finn Balor in Elimination Chamber up next. Here we go. One of these men will become the number one contender to the WWE Championship. It's one fall with finish, folks. No uh, eliminations or nothing. Just straight meat slapping. <laughs> oh boy. The Rock, Roman Reigns, Walter, all men who have held the Intercontinental Championship in 2022. Now, The Rock, he's been chomping at the bit to win the WWE Championship. He has had, I think, two attempts to win the title and was unfortunately unsuccessful both times. Uh, he became number 30 in the Royal Rumble, earned that opportunity, but then couldn't uh, get the job done, was the third to last entrant in that match. The third to last, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Former Intercontinental Champion, though, longest reigning hardcore champion of all time. Is that still intact? I'd never counted the weeks. <laughs> but The Rock was the Intercontinental uh, Hardcore Champion for a long time. We know he's got what it takes to be WWE Champion. Finn Balor is a dangerous man, especially lately. It's a little weird. We're going to see what The Rock has in store for us tonight as he attempts to go one step closer to main eventing Walker Mania 5 with Brock Lesnar. And who could forget the Walker Mania 4 match that those two had for the Hardcore Championship? Man, that would be insane. But this man as well knows what it takes to beat a WWE Champion to win the title. This man was WWE Champion for one month, unfortunately. And the only reason he wasn't WWE Champion for longer is because the CWO made sure of it. And it's, it, it's a shame because the man was injured, never got another fair opportunity at it. This man was number 29 in the... Actually, I'm just thinking about it. Yet, this match contains number 28, 29, and 30 in the Men's Rumble match. This was number 29. Walter... Looking to go against the Demon. That actually would be a, an interesting match as well. Won the Intercontinental Championship and the WWE Championship in 2022. Did he ever win the Hardcore title? He went for it a couple of times, I think. But I think everyone else tried to take him out. <laughs> so he didn't get the job done. But um, this is his chance. So Triple threat action. One fall to a finish. I'm sure Finn Balor is watching somewhere. 
holding his breath because I mean whoever does win this match I mean that's a it's a big challenge I wouldn't want to be Balor at all he stinks no I'm, I'm sorry the online mode part of me came out for a second I apologize <laughs> Walter man I'm excited I'm looking forward to this I don't think uh I don't think either of these guys' uh, pads have come across. I don't believe they have. If they have, I'm sorry, but I believe this is the first time we're seeing any of these three go uh, against each other in a match, in any match, except the Rumble. This man uh, had a very interesting last couple of months, had to feud with his own brothers, had a feud with his own partners, didn't like where certain things were going, and... and, and Stood on that, made sure that, you know, what he wanted happened, but he wasn't successful. The shield is no longer uh, a thing that Roman Reigns could say that he belongs to. Same goes for John Moxley. The current tag team champions of the shield are uh, Sami Zayn and Seth Rollins. Roman Reigns has got to be uh, feeling a little so certain type of way after that, especially after coming number 28 in the Royal Rumble. And then not even, I don't even think he made it to the final uh, four. Did he? I don't think he did. I, I, it was Lesnar, Rock, Riddle, and it was one other person. I don't, um, maybe it was Wal maybe it was Walter because he, he came number 29. I don't know. But I don't even think Reigns went to number uh, the final four. And that's got to be eating at him inside. Couldn't get the tag team championships. I mean, there's a lot that Roman Reigns has to prove in 2023 because he had a big 20. He had a big 2021, and 2022 wasn't as big. He was king of the ring. You know what I mean? He, which we're gonna have again, by the way, going at, leading into Walker Mania Five. Uh, that's gonna be a pretty cool tournament to have as the weeks go on. Very, very, very excited for that. Uh, we have that's our annual tradition for Walker Mania. Walker Mania is going to be a big show. I just want you guys to know it's going to be long. It's going to be a big show. Uh, I'm not going to split it up into two nights because what do I look like to you? You're going to sit there for those three hours and you're going to love it. <laughs> All right. Roman Reigns, The Rock, Walter. Here we go. Crowd's firmly behind The Rock as well. Oh, man, Walter. What is he doing? We got some shades of the Elimination Chamber. Don't know what the hell that was about. Or not the Elimination Chamber, the Royal Rumble. And there's a lot of stipulations going on within the next couple of months. I apologize. <laughs> Roman with a headbutt right to the back. And, man, nobody can get the better hand of each other. The upper hand? I don't know why I keep saying better hand. The upper hand. Roman Reigns going for a DDT here. And he gets it on Walter. I mean, you don't really realize how white this man is, but oh, with a with one clothesline, Walter took out two men. Roman Reigns and The Rock go down off of one lariat. That was <laughs> that was insane. Now Rock and Roman going back and forth here. Roman several uh, or a kick to the gut of his cousin. The man, listen, The Rock. Took the WWE, uh, the, sorry, the Intercontinental Championship off of Roman Reigns at SummerSlam last year. Roman hasn't forgotten that. That was the last time Roman Reigns held on to a singles championship. Hasn't been able to do it since, and now The Rock has the opportunity to take another title chance away from the Tribal Chief. Walter with a vice grip on Roman Reigns, who goes to the outside of the ring. Rock. Who knows what it's like to win these multi-man matches. Especially over the last couple of weeks. Walter trying to go for a little bit of a possum move. And The Rock slamming the knee down onto the canvas. Got to injure Walter. I mean, remember, he's going for those power bombs later in this match. You're going to want your knee to be strong in order to hoist your opponent up. Especially with somebody with the weight of The Rock and Roman Reigns. I mean, Finn Balor or, or AJ Styles is one thing. But these two big Samoans here. The Rock, look at the freaking viciousness on the people's champ the rock with the fireman's carry on walter who gets out of it man walter is living his life 
like it's golden. It's unbelievable how much Walter has taken in this match between both of these guys. I didn't expect. Well, so it goes to show how long that lasted. Roman sends Walter into the corner. And oh, man. I wonder if they view Walter as the bigger threat. I don't know. I believe he's going to roll out of the ring now. Oh, no. Rock going to stand by and watch what happens here. Reigns lighten Walter up with these punches. And maybe they do view him as the... Oh, man. They view him as the freaking threat. Because there goes a double team. And The Rock. Elbow right to the skull once again of Roman Reigns. Back up on their feet. We got to do something big here. The Rock with a spine buster. That is a great start to what could be the beginning of the end. Oh, for this match. The Rock. And Walter's getting up. Rock's got to be careful. Oh, man. Oh, man. Rock, rock bottom. Rock bottom on Walter. But Roman Reigns up on his feet and breaks it up. Wow. You got to adapt to your situation as much as you can. And man, did the rock adapt. Hitting a rock bottom on Walter. <laughs> Almost put the guy away for a three count. That was unbelievable. Roman, fireman's carry to the rock. Oh no, the rock on the outside. Power bomb to the outside. Roman focuses attention on Walter, who just got hit with a rock bottom. You know he's hurting. You know he's hurting. Walter, hold on. You got to be kidding me. I thought we were going for just the one. We're going for the trifecta, baby. We're going for the three. The triple power bombs. Rock, what are you doing? Breaks it up. A WWE championship match is at stake here. This is nothing to sneeze at, folks. Oh, there goes Walter, who had his fingers all up inside Walter's butthole. What was that about? I <laughs> Go back and watch that. He had his whole hand all up in his wall or see. Don't know how I feel about that one, Chief. Roman Reigns going for a jackhammer. Can he get him up? <laughs> Walter cursing Roman Reigns out on the outside. Cover on the people's champion and a breakup from Walter. There's always going to be that looming threat. Oh, no! Guillotine! Mind you, Walter's already been here with a rock bottom. Walter, oh, man. I don't know if Walter was in trouble there or what, but Roman Reigns with a submission on the rock now. This is unbelievable. A desperate attempt from Roman Reigns to try to end this match as quickly as possible. Holy crap. Reigns with a suplex. He gets it on the rock. Man, but... Oh, man. This opens up a huge... A huge opportunity for Roman Reigns to put this match in the bag. Oh, he, fumbled, he fumbled it. He fumbled. What a fumble. Walter, he's got to capitalize. Now, The Rock, how much longer is he going to be done on the outside for? I don't know, but Walter, hold on. Powerbomb. The cover on Roman Reigns. No way. No way. Oh, and Roman with a kick out. Oh, I am flustered. Oh, well, The Rock was taunting in that corner. It kind of ruined Walter's plans there. <laughs> Here we go. Walter powerbomb position, hooks both arms, slams him down. I mean, this guy is unbelievable. Rock getting beat up out here. Oh, man. Walter going for these triple power bombs. This is how he won the WWE Championship. Back at SummerSlam. The Rock goes down. But Roman Reigns is going to be right there to break it up. Roman was waiting. Was waiting for Walter to oh, go for the cover off of that. And he sure did. Fireman's carry once again for Roman Reigns. Throws him down. Oh, yeah. Right hand. Right to the freaking mush. And Reigns goes down. Oh! I think Roman went for the spear. Walter reversed into a German suplex. Fireman's carry for Walter and the rock, man. Oh. Knee to the gut of Walter. Going for a rock bottom. This is a perfect opportunity. Ro Roman's outside. He's a no. And oh, no. 
Walter reversed. I think The Rock's going to go for the cover anyway for some... No, he's not. What is he doing? Oh, I think he was going for the sharpshooter. Walter got out of the way again. Man, this is just a... Oh, man. Walter going for another power bomb. A triple power bomb again? Roman's right there. I don't even think Walter realized that Roman's back in the ring. Oh, no. This isn't good for Walter. He's trying his heart out here, and Roman just keeps on breaking it up. I mean, this is ridiculous. Where is Walter getting this from? I don't know, but every time he thinks he's got it. Oh, man. Well, Rock needs to get back up and break this up before all, oh, before Walter got put away. Rock, don't taunt. Don't you freaking taunt like an idiot. Roman going into the cover. That could be it, but the Rock, okay. He realizes. He realizes what he's doing. Roman Reigns. Spear! A spear to the Rock! Walter's down! Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh! <laughs> well, Brock Lesnar is now... <laughs> he now knows that when he goes to Walker Mania 5... He'll be fighting the WWE Champion, which will either be Finn Balor or Roman Reigns. How does Finn Balor feel about this? Roman Reigns is the number one contender to the WWE Championship. That is going to slap harder than my dad slapped me after I stole some money. Oh, my God. Roman Reigns going to Walker Mania 5. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next week for more qualifying matches. And Logan Paul is the hardcore champion. <laughs>